Hey pups, RP here. Even though I don't consider myself a ranter, I do bring in the occasional rant here and there. Plus, there's a bunch of ranters I look up to, such as the names Junkie, Icy Hazard, Indie Angelo, and more can list from the top of my head. But I do have a few problems with the ranting community. Don't get me wrong, most of the people here are great and give off a welcoming vibe and give off some constructive criticism as well with other ranters. But I do have some issues with the community that kind of get under my skin and are my personal pet peeves as far as a semi-ranter. And yes, I call myself a semi-ranter because I'm not so much a ranter so much as a... Just a random YouTuber, that's all. So without further delay, let's get started. Also, I want to include the Pentagram Stories Atari vs. Bokter drama because that's a can of Weedles all on its own. Plus, there's too much to talk about on that. And I'd be repeating myself on what has already been said, but I will save it for a future video, trust me. Alright, let's do this. I just want to get this one out of the way. Like I said earlier, good ranters I like are the names Junkie, Spockter Tech, and D'Angelo, Fagos, and so much more. But then you have the ranters that are... bad. Really bad. Deviant Cringe, for example, is the literal definition of cringe. He uploads constantly for popularity, and I may be a hypocrite here, but I have a life and I schedule, script, and plan my videos. Even though it technically doesn't seem like I script them, it actually is me scripting them. Just putting that out there. Not to mention, he's a fetish ranter. Look, I don't care if you're kinky AF or vanilla AF, you should not kink shame anyone for any reason at all. That is a very strong pet peeve of mine, and it gets under my skin so much, just like... Can you not? Like, can you not be a fetish ranter for once in your life? And if you guys know me this well, you should know that I hate these kind of ranters. But let's continue onward, shall we? I've got nothing against people being proud of their work, but... It gets to the point of someone becoming a Squidward, for lack of a better word, and believe there's some random Jesus. The only two ranting Jesuses in this community are Junkie and Fegu. And even they accept critique with open arms. Honestly, we need more ranters like those guys. And if you have a high sense of pride and become a Squidward yourself, a ranting Squidward, for lack of a better term, please get off the internet. Get off your high horse, get off the computer, go outside. For the love of our ranting Jesuses, Junkie, and Fey Ghost, please do that. To quote Spockter Tech, Rangers have just learned to not take things so seriously. Look, I get it. Some people like Sav Draws, and even I myself, can get emotionally sensitive or hurt when it comes to rude and hateful comments, or even harsh criticism, and even a rant here and there, and believe it or not, when I looked up my username, I saw a rant. I didn't really bother watching it because I don't really have time on my hands, so apologies for, to the person who made the rant on me that I didn't really get to watch, but I'm sure you did great! <clears throat> Anyways, getting back on topic, honestly, it's better to just ignore any hateful or rude comments rather than dwell on them. I know sensitivity is a normal human reaction of sorts, or so it seems, but sometimes you just gotta shake it off, just shake it off. Yeah, I know, I was terrible at singing that part. I literally wrote that in a script and I was terrible at singing it. Or even just take the critique of others, unless they're rude and hateful comment. 
So, just pointing that out. Yes, I mashed these two together. But anyways, you know those rants that never want to improve and how most people constantly either hate a ranter's opinion on a rant or someone that they rant on or on some occasions pester their favorite ranter to make more videos. Like, for example, if I were to comment on Junkie's videos telling him, Make more videos! Make more videos! Type, 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 type! It would be like a spoiled child not getting what they want. Or rather, Lord Champa losing a match to Beerus and Dragon Ball Super. Look, I've been watching the anime a whole lot lately, guys. Don't... Don't judge me. Excuse me for a moment, I need to get the giggles out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm back. And like I said earlier, it would be like giving a spoiled child what they want and just endorsing that behavior. And if you think that's a good thing, I say nay, 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 like a horse. But look. Even your favorite ranter has a life. They got stuff going on in their lives, be it school, work, college, etc. They can't do what you tell them to at the snap of your fingers or anything. And if you personally hate a ranter for any reason at all, then stop watching them! It's as simple and easy as that, people. Just stop watching them. As for the terribly made rants, I understand most ranters have to work with what they got, new ranters more or less, but if they flat out refuse to improve their rants, they really need to listen to constructive criticism and try to do their absolute darndest to improve, and if they still refuse, they need to find something else to do with their videos or their YouTube channel or whatever. But hey, it's the internet, what are you gonna do? Although the rented community, in my personal opinion, is just as welcoming as any other community out there, it has its ups and downs. But I say if we overcome our downs, we can focus more on the ups. Today's rant is by Danny DA Discord Dragon. Holy moly, that is a mouthful. I really like their art style, and it looks amazing. If you want your fan art featured, follow and tag me on my social media below, and I'll see you later, pups. This is our pure reminder you to stay awesome, stay strong and stay beautiful.